Hello everyone. Today we're going to be going over Disney Magic Kingdom's game's latest patch notes for update 79, which features Mulan. Hopefully everybody enjoys the video today. If you guys do, make sure to leave it a thumbs up. And of course, if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell as well. So it, they actually came out yesterday with the uh, event walkthrough. I missed the patch notes, so fail to me. Fail to me. Fail to me, but I am going over them now. Um, apparently there were a couple of new details that I kind of needed to go over for this, so uh, I am gonna be doing that today. So we'll start off here with what's new. Welcome new characters from Mulan. For a limited time, you can welcome Yao, Ling, and Chen Po to the kingdom, but that's not all. We're also bringing back the Tung Shao Toboggan's attraction. So I actually missed out on this one and um, I thought it was a new one. Uh, when I did my walkthrough yesterday, I did the video, so I thought it was new, but again, I don't have it, so it'll be new for me. Uh, so if you guys missed out on that in the season pass, uh, what was it, last year? Then, yeah, last year's season pass, then I guess uh, you guys will be able to get a hold of it during... Uh, during the actual event. So add this rag tag trio and thrilling attraction to your park before they're gone. Lunar New Year's costumes are back. Okay, so this is something I'm actually really interested in and this is probably, honestly, this top part is the most important thing. Um, so we knew about the characters and we knew about the attraction, but I, again, as I said, mentioned that it was new. It will be new to me, but uh, if you guys did buy the season pass before, then you, it will not be new to you. Now, in terms of costumes, they did tease Mulan's warrior costume uh, yesterday, and I think it has to do with the fact that that's the costume that, or look, I guess I should say, that she has on in the film when she's hanging out, like literally most of the movie. Uh, she is wearing it because she's, you know, being a man. So she hangs out with them and wears uh, that look when she's hanging out with Yao Ling and Shen Po. So I think that's why they were showing it, but they shouldn't have, honestly. Uh, looking at that, I think that is uh, or was a huge mistake um, on their part. I understand people make mistakes, but I think that one, because they aren't bringing it back and that is kind of essential... Um, of an item to Mulan's collection and to this particular part of the storyline that I think they're going to be targeting. I think they really need to bring it back. So before I go being like, oh, they're not bringing it, I am just going to confirm myself that it's not coming. So the Lunar New Year's costumes are back. Celebrate the year of the dragon with Mickey Mouse, Minnie, Donald, and Daisy as they once again don their beautiful festive Lunar and Lunar New Year Hong Kong costumes. So, uh, that means that the regular Lunar ones and then the Hong Kong ones. So, there's two different sets here um, that came out different years. So, just keep that in mind. It's both sets of Lunar costumes. Uh, the update will be available on February 6th, which is this coming Tuesday. And then the mini event begins on February the 15th. So, typically with updates in the past, it's always been that the um, the update is on a Tuesday and the event starts on a Thursday. But what's happening now, I guess they're gearing things a little bit differently, is they're doing their mini events, uh, sorry, their leaderboard events before the mini events. So um, that is kind of what's going on. And then sometimes they do throw in a mini, uh, oh my gosh, a leaderboard event after the mini event as well. Uh, but in this particular case, I think the, the bulk of it for this update is going to be between the 6th and the 15th. So... Uh, I always say this as well, but some platforms will be getting the update a little later. So it could be even Wednesday or Thursday morning. But again, don't worry. They typically send out um, information and stuff if it, if the updates are going to be a little bit later. They usually do this on Discord, though. So be aware if you don't have their Discord. Uh, it's But you can ask here in like underneath and... Um, you know, my latest DMK video in the comment section and say, is anybody else missing the update? I am on, you know, let's say Android or something like that. And uh, if, you know, somebody might write back and be like, oh, I'm on Android, but I got it. Just make sure you refresh your, your shop. So, um, you know, it could be just one of those things that it, it's just better to chat with the community about it if you guys are kind of looking for that info um, and don't have access to uh, to their Discord. Uh, do, 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 note, uh, Mulan's update is a time-limited event. It is not permanent content. So we know this because, uh, Mulan was a limited time event initially, and it's, it's just a continuation of it, so... Yeah, <laughs> it's obviously not permanent content, but it is good to know because in the past, Star Wars, for example, has a limited time and a permanent content, because it's the only collection that's like that. 
Uh, new content. So the characters, we know that Chen Po is the premium. The concessions is going to be the snowman, snowman milkshake stand. I don't know why we're getting a snowman, though, in February. I mean, that's such a Canadian thing, I guess. <laughs> I don't... I think the rest of the world is starting to think spring is coming soon. Uh, oh, my gosh. It's winter. But it's fine. Um, Mulan's gold trophy. That will be something to uh, to discuss. If you guys have any questions on how to tackle that or when to log into your game, you can always feel free to pop into that in the, the comments. And I, I would be happy to to talk about it in my next video or just answer directly. Um, no attractions this update. However, if you guys are missing the uh, Tung Shao Pass, or sorry, Tung Shao, it's called the Tung Shao Pass in the movie, the Tung Shao Toboggan Attraction, uh, that will be new to you, like me. So yeah, uh, no parade float and no costumes. So there's no word on Mulan's warrior costume or additional fabrics for the comfy, which sucks. Um, upcoming events, the Tapper events of the Golden Scarabs, March 8th uh, to March 11th. And then the spawn time, will, I guess, was going to be up to 10. So it doesn't mean you're guaranteed 10. It's up to 10 um, every four hours. So keep that in mind. Here are the possible reward or milestone, uh, possible milestone rewards. Now, that just means basically you have to achieve it. So all these are actual rewards. You just have to actually get there. Um by completing the amount that they say. They don't say how many that the, each one is going to require, but yeah. Now, in terms of the leaderboard reward, not worth it. Just focus on the happiness for it, honestly. Uh, the Jeweled Crab is going to be March 4th to 9th, so this is into March. Oh, wow. Okay, so March 4th to 9th. So I guess it'll be after March 9th that we'll be hearing about uh, the next update. So spawn time is up to five. Jeweled Crabs every four hours. Um... Again, this will work a little differently. I'll actually have to clear the jewel crabs. They're not an actual tapper. And then there are the list of characters. And then in terms of rewards, happiness is going to be the milestone reward. So you will have to participate with that. And then the yellow ribbon chest. I am just literally on my last round to figure out what the heck a yellow ribbon chest is in my game currently. It is part of the leaderboard that's going on right now in my game. So I should know this like in a couple of hours. But at the moment, I do not know what the yellow ribbon chest is. So... Yeah, I guess if you guys know, feel free to throw it in the comments. Maybe you'll beat me to finding out that information. Um, but I, I just don't know what it is yet. So, yeah. Possible leaderboard rewards include... Okay, so there's a concession chest in there, but, like, really not a lot of leaderboard rewards. So that doesn't really matter. Wacky lunch boxes will be the 6th to 11th of March. So that's going to spawn six every two hours. And what are our leaderboard rewards a milestone here happiness um madame's mansion okay so fallback attraction enchantment chest so if you, that just means if you have it already that's what you will get so if you have everything in the attraction enchantment then you know what honestly just make it to the happiness rewards and you're done um and finally what are the leaderboards epic blueprints and stuff which again i don't i don't really care about you get them if you get them but i don't think that's a big one to focus on uh, cascading tappers uh, enjoy three tappers in one so the wandering firecracker so we did see this in um, their little event walkthrough yesterday so I won't spend too much time on it but the wandering uh, firecrackers curse crabs and the vine cages will be arriving to the kingdom so just keep that in mind happiness is really the big thing for that uh, that you'll you'll definitely want to be aware of and then in terms of the milestones for the other ones it's pretty much the exactly the same thing uh the only bit is with the vine cages to lose is going to be the character reward or attraction enchantment chest if you guys already have it so to lose is kind of the big character um that if you miss that cute little kitten that you'll you'll want to work towards getting him and then the leaderboard rewards which might matter to some people is going to be the snowman's milkshake sand so but if you are full and your kingdom is flourishing without the snowman milkshake stand and you're like whatever then don't worry about it um and then here's the mini event that is running from the 14th to the first so we'll have a little bit of a, a break there um not really a too much of a break but it's just I, I find the order of of how they post it, it's a bit messed up i kind of want them to just have it all laid out i'm hoping they do that uh, they will not. Okay, so they're counting these by chapters. Now, these are something I don't usually talk about the chapter bit. Um, I just go, oh, character one, character two, character three. But uh, 
Yeah. Or again, if there's an attraction in there, like again, as they did here, then that counts as like, that's the next thing. But they're calling it chapter. So chapter one is going to be kind of running um, to be able to get Ling and Chen Po. And that's a premium. So you'll need 500 gems for that or buy the bundle. And then the Tung Shao Toboggan and then Yao after that on the 24th. So um, it does look like the gold trophies are going to run from the 16th um, to the 19th, the 21st to the 24th, and then the 26th to 29th. And there's going to be a whole bunch of characters that you're going to need for that. Um, that is where I kind of recommend if you want the gold trophy, you need a strategy for it or you will be in trouble. <laughs> Uh, make sure you keep the attractions out that are going to actually give this to you. This is going to include turning red um, attractions and stuff. So keep that in mind. Possible leaderboard rewards. Again, it's the gold trophy that you're really going to be after. But you might be after some relics and stuff and currency as well. Now, this is probably the, the biggest thing here. Um, the quality of life change. I think this should have been like at the top with new stuff going on. Um <laughs> photo mode so photo mode is actually going to be very cool i'm not going to read it specifically um, but it will be on the screen if you guys want to but photo mode is actually going to be a button that is going to be underneath the mail icon as you can see right here in this picture um, now what's going to happen is is basically it's going to remove all the shenanigans on your screen so you can take a picture um, and then i'm assuming it saves to your care uh, your camera roll i guess they call it so basically just saves your photo to your phone um but yeah, I'm assuming it will do that. But uh, yeah, so basically you just tap that. It's going to clear it all away. So it's going to look like this. And then you can just take it. It'll take a picture. And then when you're done, you just tap the screen and it goes away. So that's kind of the, the what, what are they? What does DMK call it? Javon's tips or whatever. That's Steffi's tip. <laughs> it's not really a tip. I just summarized it for you. But um, yeah, it's going to be a great way to actually decorate areas of your, your kingdom and share it with your friends. And I think this is a feature that probably should have been in implemented like in year one or two um, of this game's life. Um, not like after seven years, but that's okay. I'm glad that they're doing it right now because uh, this just seems like such a useful tool I would have used like a thousand times over. I was secretly hoping though that it was going to be something that you could use when you would go um, into like if you were you click a character right to send them on a quest um, and that you would be able to be up right nice and close and then the the character would be just doing its you know usual like three kind of poses or whatever that it does and then we could take a picture of that so I they haven't you know given a demo for that but that would be my ideal use of the camera besides you know obviously showing my land so I don't know I'm kind of interested to see how how it works a little bit more i will obviously um be doing lots of this so keep an eye for for my next video when the update comes that i will be going over that and uh testing that out and probably having a wonderful time with it absolutely wonderful time um do, 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 do. the screenshots themselves can be taken with the built-in screenshot function and devices will be stored to the device local storage so yeah it will be saved to local storage um now, one thing about Merlin's gathering spell here, it's been improved to collect rewards from repeatable activities from characters. So Merlin's gathering spell has been improved to collect rewards from repeatable activities from characters. Now, upon casting the spell, you can collect rewards from all the characters based on activities in addition to everything that is currently already collected by the spell. I am interested in trying this and seeing how this works because this could literally be a game changer. I feel like this could be the most underrated thing that we are seeing today. Um, I, I feel like maybe people glazed over this, but I think this could be great because this is coming from characters and their activities. So that's awesome because how many times... Like, you know, going back over your character stuff, if it actually just collects from characters, like, hell yeah. That's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Um, so they've also changed the look of some of the icons. So quests that are only collected manually, um, they're going to have blue check marks over building activities that are collected through the gathering spell. This is going to be... This is going to be good. I think this is good. I'm happy at least that they are 
that they're doing this and I think that since it just sends by the sounds of it it just sends your character back out on a quest basically if you leave it there and you don't tap the check mark then it's just going to keep going to get the item so this is going to be something I'm going to be trying out day one big time with 60 minutes and just seeing how that works out now a lot of the quests don't go in attractions though so we'll just sort of have to see how that works um outside of the attractions but I think this could be really awesome Really, really awesome. Now, there are some balancing changes that are important, I guess. I guess. Um, <laughs> token 3 changed from NA to Sir Ector's Cloak. So, I think that's just like an error that they wouldn't let you go past a level 3. I don't have... I haven't had this issue, but I assume it's annoying. So, anyways, there's, there's a bunch of little, little things here that... Um, I think that, you know, if you're interested in what's kind of going on with each specific attraction, then, you know, definitely have a glance at all of this stuff. The patch notes are available on their website. And again, it's update 79. So you guys will be able to uh, to kind of go ahead and go through that. So I think that's pretty much it. I think everything else is just, you know, what you're going to be able to find inside of chests and like the token shops and things. And I, I think, you know, while that is a useful thing to know and do, I just think that uh, it's not something that I need to read out. You guys can just have a look if you want more info. Um, but those are the big major changes with update 79. So thank you guys for watching this one. Sorry, I didn't include this yesterday with my event walkthrough. Um, I will be a little bit more diligent on that uh, next time. And I will see everybody for my next Disney Magic Kingdom game video. Bye.